Well guys, today we're going to start we're making bulgur salad with chicken filet and roasted beets. It's a good recipe, it's almost 33 degrees here. It's hot in the Netherlands, so I'm not happy that I wear this warm clothes, but for the movie I have to be appropriate. So let's start. We start with uh, the oven on 200 degrees. And we're uh, going to clean this, the beets. You can see they're fresh. Sorry for my son in the background, but he, I'm babysitting as well today. So yeah, let's start. So I will uh, remove it with this, and then you will see the result and I will cut it into pieces. Guys, I killed my wife, she wasn't that nice, so I had to get rid of her and dispose her in the, in the lake here. But uh, no, I'm just joking, sorry. It's this, uh, watch out. Um, if uh, It's really hard to get it off. Not of my hands, but on the cutting board or on other places, so really watch out. And I will cut it now uh, further. So first we do it through the half and then we do like the long parts. As a kid, I hated this recipe the, with the beets, but now I really like it. And in the Middle East, they eat it a lot with kebab as well, but they sour it. And I like it a lot, especially in the Syrian Lebanese dishes, they do that. A moment. Yep. So one bloody mess. Clean it straight away. I do it carefully for my hands. So dispose it right away. I'll clean the knife and then cut some more garlics as well. So the garlic, the end, crush the other. The end and crush the other. I think it's the easiest way to peel garlic. You will see the end result after this. Now we will make a nice mix with the red beets with the half of the garlic in it. Like that. And just a little bit of olive oil. It's hard with this bowl, but just like this. And then we mix it. We mix it in a nice mix. Olive oil, cotton garlic, and the beets. To add some flavors. And you hear some kid sounds in the back, sorry. So, but some salt and pepper, the basics to add into is also good. And some pepper and mix it again. So the oven is on 200 degrees. Now we will divide the red beets. My kids eat everything, so they also eat things like this. But for now, we have a recipe for two. I changed my ingredients because it's vacation time. They eat pizzas, uh, uh, fries. I don't eat that crap, so. I, I honestly, there are good pizzas, eh? but fresh pizzas, not of the, uh, you know, delivery things or uh, easy homemade pizzas. I like homemade pizzas as well, but 
usually the kids eat things like this but this is like high uh, low calorie meals and uh, i don't they don't always want this so we will throw this in the oven for about yeah they they suggest around 30 minutes but we have a really good oven it's really strong so we will do like 15 minutes and we check how the situation is going because it's hot in there so i'm going to put it now in the oven Okay. Looking now the boiled water for the bulgur. I throw the vegetable bouillon on it, the half of one, because I use it for two pe uh, people. Uh, when it's boiling, then I throw the bulgur in it, 10 to 12 minutes it, it, it will take. And then um, it has to be covered. So there has to be... A p <coughs> this has to happen, it also goes faster. My son calls me, sorry. Um, yeah, and then uh, the bulgur is allowed to uh, cool off because it's a salad. So the water is boiling. We will throw the bulgur in it. cutting board right away you can still see the colors I don't really mind but uh, yeah because I, I clean it frequently so I try to remove the red possibly it will work my opinion it also belongs to a cutting board you should replace it in a while and uh, it's, you know it's just a part of cooking So, cut an onion. I, honestly, I wanted to have a red onion. It was so hot in the store, I didn't want to go. So, I just used this one, but I prefer in this recipe to use a red onion. So, in the recipe list, I will write that. Yeah, in these hot weathers, a good uh, salad is, uh, is nice as well. It's fresh. So now we will cut some rings. At least we try. Small boil uh, bowl in here. We will add some dried oregano. Some olive oil and the remaining garlic which we have cut. This is a good paste. So here, dried oregano, smell it immediately, it smells so fresh. The garlic. So and some olive oil. Just a bit. You're scared, just use one teaspoon. I measure it by hand. Now you have a paste. Paste for the chicken. Pepper and salt. Some pepper. Uh, some salt, sorry, that was salt. And then some pepper. Small teaspoon. And just mix it. This is like a paste, you see? And it has to be a paste. So I can see right away that I still need a little bit of more olive oil, just a bit. So, perfect. We mix further. So now it's more like a paste. You can see, right? So the small bowl, and now we have a big bowl, and I have to find another two of mine. 
guess. So you will paint it. Every paste that we got. So, and what we will do now, we will put it in the oven dish together with the cut and onions. and the beets are ready so I will show that result as well here are the fresh beets we'll throw this approximately 20 minutes in the oven here's the result of the bulgur now we will cut the parsley curl parsley and the mint for the salad we do this good result I love the smell guys the parsley is so fresh it's amazing so in the end up cut those we will make blocks, so we will do this. It doesn't matter that the parsley goes in, in between of it. You really don't. Because it all goes into the salad. So, let's go. Nice lemon. Continue to grind this. I'm always freaking scared of this machine. We get the bowl, we have some lemon rasp, and we try to squeeze also part out for the taste. Never waste guys, never throw things unnecessary to waste. What we will add to this bowl will be some nice stuff, okay? We have some juice already in it, lemon juice. We will add a teaspoon of honey. I don't have the good organic one at home. So yeah, like this. I use the bigger spoon because it's for two persons. A little bit of olive oil. It's for the dressing. It's 
So, and some pepper and salt. Then we will mix fresh herbs and the cucumbers through the dressing. Made some space. almost done we will cut some almonds nicely and as I say it all goes together so I don't care that there's parsley in between or something like that I'll just cut this gently usually I use a mortar but just for this is not really necessary doesn't need to be that thorough but just cut the almonds like this so for me this is fine and we will crumble some goat cheese in other words wh white cheese I like it it's a little bit different than veta it's basically a paste so you no know. what's to crumble about it I don't know it's literally a paste you can see my hands looks like cream Probably because of the hot weather, but still, nice to go. Nice to use in the salad. We will mix one each spoon of lemongrass. Through the bulgur. Here you see the chicken fillet. This is not burnt, it's the herbs and some onions with it. And always check, like here, if it's white from the inside. If it's not, and then it's not fresh. Just some uh, minutes in the ovens with some nice herbs. Look at this. It's the bulgur, the red beets. So let's make something of it. The bulgur, the chicken, the red beets, the cucumber, and the goat cheese. Bon appetit, guys. <laughs> 